I'm Audrey and I'm here with my sister today to talk about a case that the Supreme Court decided a few weeks ago, Shirtliff versus Boston. The question the court considered with Shirtliff was, can Boston deny a petition to fly a Christian flag outside its city hall? If you visit Boston City Hall, you'll see three flagpoles standing outside. On the first flagpole, there's the American flag. On the second, the flag of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And on the third, typically the Boston City flag. I say typically because Boston does have a special flag raising program. Under that program, the city allows groups to fly a flag of their choice on select dates. And since 2005, 50 different flags have flown outside City Hall. In 2017, Harold Shirtliff petitioned to fly a Christian flag. The city denied his petition over concerns that flying a Christian flag would violate the Establishment Clause, which prohibits the government from favoring one religion over another. The Supreme Court ruled on May 2nd that Boston's flag-raising program represented private, not government speech. The court further held that by denying Sherlock's petition to fly a Christian flag, Boston violated the Free Exercise Clause by discriminating against religion. The decision was unanimous and Justice Stephen Breyer authored the majority opinion. To reach his decision, the court considered three factors. First, was flag flying historically seen as government speech? Second, was the public likely to perceive a flag flying outside City Hall as government speech or private speech? And third, had Boston previously shaped or controlled which flags could fly under its program? The court found that flag flying's history favored Boston. Flags were seen as symbolic of communities and government and conveyed government messages. Upon examining the second factor, however, the court deemed evidence regarding public perception to be inconclusive. That took the court to the third factor, which it held was the key issue. The court noted that Boston approved all flags until Shirtliff's petition nor did it have written policies on what flags could or could not be flown. Also, Boston had previously told the public that it aimed to, quote, accommodate all applicants, end quote, who wanted to host events at public forums, like City Hall. And so, the justices decided that flying a flag outside City Hall represented private expression, not something that the government necessarily endorsed. Then, Relying on precedent set by Good News Club versus Milford Central School, the court reiterated that the government cannot exclude private speech simply based on religious viewpoint. There were several concurrences. Justice Kavanaugh emphasized that the Establishment Clause requires equal treatment for religious and secular groups, most certainly not the exclusion of religious groups altogether. Meanwhile, Justices Alito and Gorsuch advocated different approaches to the Establishment Clause. Beyond Shirtliff getting the fly, the Christian flag, the case is a strengthening of the Free Exercise Clause. The concurrences also provoked thoughts about how courts should approach the Establishment Clause and which tests they should apply. We hope you enjoyed our summary of Shirtliff versus Boston. Thank you for watching!